you ready to learn how to add a recent profiles feature to your profile itself in your new social network? If so, join me on today's video as we dive into adding a recent profiles widget in your profile page so that way people that look at your profile page as external or even yourself can see the most recent profiles that were created in the social network so when we build out our follow system we can also build out a way to just follow straight from your profile page so it's going to be a cool little feature guys if you have not caught up in this series so far we've hit a lot of key points that all go in chronological order of building a social network in wix Click the card above to catch up and watch the full series if you haven't yet caught up. If you have, hit that subscribe button down below if you found value in this series and if you've enjoyed the content so you do not miss our uploads because I've had a daily upload as my gift to you for the 12 days of Christmas for this series. If you've also enjoyed the content, drop a like down below. It's much appreciated and, uh, and it goes to show me how I'm doing and if the content's valuable to you. So that's, that's all I have to say for that and comment what you've enjoyed most about this series and what you'd like to see next in the series. Other than that, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, click this academy button to register completely free or log in if you're already registered and go ahead and check it out. Free access to tons of Wix training content. But for now, let's jump into today's video. So how we're going to add a recent profiles feature to our actual profile page in our social network. It's very easy to do guys. Like I mean very very easy to do compared to what we've done in the past couple of days between editing profiles, between building custom search functions in, between adding a full liking system to our Wish website. This is literally going to be a piece of cake to you, but it's a cool feature to actually have on your profile because it just adds more value to it. It shows the most recent profiles and for some people it's a good way for them to find a way to get more follows. So when we build out the follow system, because let's be honest, guys, if you're a business or you're a personal brand, your goal is to get people to follow you and like your content and show them that it's valuable. So if you could put your profile in front of more people, it's going to be more attractive to them. So this could also be a nice lucrative business technique and uh, marketing uh, technique from your standpoint as a business social network so that's just something to look out for and uh, an application that can be used for this new concept so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go to add and by the way we're on our uh, profile before that we're on our profile data uh, like our dynamic profile page so this is our user profile data page this is our dynamic profile page right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to add and then we're going to go down to list and grids where our repeaters are at because we're going to bring in a repeater so that way we can choose the most recent profiles to show right in this repeater. Um, and then I'm going to choose this one again. I've already built it out and I'm going to paste it in. So there we go. We got the profile right there. Going to add it in there. Perfect. So now that I've got the repeater in our profile page, what we have to do is very simple. We just have to connect the data to the database. So that way it shows the proper profile data. So right here, this is going to be our profile image. We're going to go to connect to data. Uh, we're going to choose user profile data or wherever your profile uh, information is stored, whatever database that is, choose that database and then image source connects to in this case profile picture done then we're going to do full name click connect to data and then user profile data name connects to full name and you'll know the connection has been made once it's green you can see i've already come through here and done this um, then we're going to connect to data then we're going to choose user profile data handle get that and then we're going to do bio right below that connect to data and then you can see profile bio and then just like that guys we have um, our data connected here and I'm not kidding when I say this this is just gonna be a short and sweet uh, video this is more of a bridge the gap we're gonna get into a little bit more complex maybe start the like or the commenting system um, in the following videos between tomorrow and on and maybe even get into the following system um, before Christmas or right around Christmas and that that'll be that but that's literally how you add this recent profiles feature just by adding a repeater on this page and connecting it to the um, 
to to the data data set so that way you can bring the data from the database into here now i'm going to show you how this works i'm going to go ahead and press publish and then i'm going to go ahead and view site now if you remember correctly to access our profile page at the current moment since we don't really have any pagination yet we have to go in here backslash user profile data oh look there's my recent link already at uh, backslash user profile data uh, forward slash excuse me forward slash user profile data forward slash michael dash strouk because it's full name that's the extension of the url if we click that my profile will, will appear and then would you look at that we have recent profiles over here and it shows our most recent profiles just like that so you guys can see it's pretty sweet um, that's actually very awesome. I'm excited that it's on here and that it's working. That makes me very happy. Um, so that's fantastic right there. Um, other than that, that's about it. Guys, if this video helped you out, drop us a like down below. Subscribe if this video or any of the other videos in this Building a Social Network in Wix series have helped you out and so you don't miss any of our future uploads. And finally, comment any questions you have, any feedback, and stuff you'd like to see coming up in the series, make sure you comment. And don't forget to head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Click that Academy button for free Wix training content, free sign up. You guys are awesome. I will catch you on tomorrow's video.